ये लड़के कोड़ी ये लड़ा हम्म dear learner welcome to today's session I am really thankful to our counselor Dr. Sucharita Misra and I welcome to all the learners from today's session so today it is the third class BSOC one zero one so I don't know after repeated sending messages mail I mean the students are not joining I don't know what is the reason so if you know your for friends then kindly tell them to kindly join the google meet for our online counseling classes because rc bhuvaneswar is putting lot of efforts to give a i mean academic input to our learners so you should take the benefit out of that so i mean no doubt it's a very difficult time we are passing because everybody was in lockdown everyone in the home so now it's very tough to passing a time so but what about the things what to do i mean you have to stay safe first and stay healthy and stay home so with these words i don't want to take much time i just request to all the learners kindly put your mic in the mute mode and write your enrollment number and name in your chat box so once again i welcome to suchita ma'am and i hand over the session to dr suchita thank you thank you so much sir uh very good evening dear learners so uh, uh today uh, we have already uh, in our previous classes we have already finished till unit 5 of the bsoc 101 so in our today's topic of discussion is relationship of sociology with economics and it consists of unit 6 so uh, kindly mute your mic Dear learners, kindly mute your mic. So let us start with relationship of sociology with economics. As we have already discussed relationship of sociology with psychology, with history, and uh, as well as hello. Uh, somebody has can you please mute your mic gayatri behra please mute your mic so um, um let us start first with our uh, as usual session definition of sociology then its relationship with sociology with economics what economics consists of प्रथम आम जानबा समाज विज्ञान कोन तापर अर्थनीति कोन देन वी विल हैव अ ब्यूटीफुल एनालिसिस ऑफ दिस रिलेशनशिप and uh, may relationship and data social science or humanities or i may to discuss kariba so sociology generally focuses of organization of social relationships and attempts to analyze the dynamics of organized pattern of social relations and social behavior um, uh, we have discussed in so many times that uh, sociology focused on social relationship sociology focused on social behavior sociology focused on social action so once again we will start with the same session same thing that the major concern of sociology is with the analysis of human social Social behavior and its relationship. Then sociology gives attention to the study of primary social institution like uh, family and its maintenance of social order. Social institution को भी एक आप study up करी था जब जब भी क्या हमें जाने चाहिए family है ला marriage है ला किंतु है ला these are the certain social institution जहाँ अब जो हमें i think again body by that uh, how that uh, sociology focuses its attention to the study of primary social institution and its maintenance of social order then sociology also focuses on evolution transformation and functioning of social life sociology amara evolution upar bhi focus karuchi societal evolution societal transformation as well as societal societal functioning of social life then again sociology deals with the social processes we uh, um, uh, generally social processes is of two types one is associative social process another one is dissociative social process and in associative social process we have learned uh, cooperation accommodation assimilation these are included under associative social process 
and in between the uh, dissociative social process we learn uh, we will learn the conflict and um, competition conflict and competition coming under the dissociative social process so sociology is the subject which is also deals with the social processes like cooperation competition accommodation assimilation social conflict communication in the society as well as social differentiation with social stratification so sociology has its own methodology and is based on empirical data collection and inductive reasoning but also have a deductive aspect at the level of generalization so tamane apne thi general jodi janiba sociology is an important discipline kahi ki na because it concerns our own lives of human being tamo nijo jibon ba charja mano nijo interrelationship human beings ra interdependence social action behavior e sabu jan ko jinso ko jete bele sociology deal deal karuchi so it it is undoubtedly an important social discipline so all humans are considered as social we could not develop our children and or children or exist as adults without having the social ties to others jodi ame kaha sahit relation se ba jodi amara kaha sahit interaction na rahibo so we cannot be develop as a human human ba ami ko ha gote human being hisab re gote child ro development ta personality ho tomara behavior aspect ho tomara relationship aspect ho sabu jan ko develop kariba pai au social being hoba pai we need a inter relationship ami seti inter relationship ra avashyakata bahut matra re rahi chi so society is thus the very condition of human existence at the same time we all actively shape the society in which we live Uh, hence so- sociology is a general science of society so ame last class ru bhi discuss karichu je sociology is the general science of society it is not only focused upon a specific area got a special um, thing but specific attention got a special area ko daba se upar na kari na thai sociology focuses its attention in the general science of society ta mane eta general aspects of society ko deal kari thai so sethi pai sociology is an important social discipline then coming to the definition of economics ame eti sociology aur economics re relationship ko tak padiba so ame again ebe dekhiba what is the definition of economics generally economics is a social science that deals with human wants and their satisfaction ame jani chu economics ta deal karuchi kaha ko na human wants as well as their satisfaction classical economics assumes that people have unlimited wants ame jani chu of human wants are unlimited it's known to all of us and the resources to satisfy these wants are limited we have the resources which are very limited amo pakhare jetiki resources achi it is it is not sufficient to meet our wants amo wants to satisfy kariba pai amo needs ra fulfillment pai amo avashyakata tharu resources ra amo pakhare bahut kam achi jothi pai so individuals always engaged in work to secure these things they need for the satisfaction of their wants sethi pai manusya sabu bele chahe se resources guda ko se jo sar wants fulfillment pai se resources guda sabu bele secure kariki rakhiba pai jemti ki the farmer in the field the worker in the factory the clerk in the office and the teacher in the school all are at work some of the nijara nijara field re kaam karithanti the basic question here arises that why different people undertake this yeah, action ma'am just a minute yeah, okay, sir, sir regional director is joined yeah, i welcome okay. to regional director dr sk tripathi dear learners so i mean i welcome to regional director dr sk tripathi he will address our learners i mean to just motivate them i welcome you sir thank you thank you dr panigrai good evening to all of you good evening dr mishra our good counselor. evening sir so it is indeed a very good moment for all of us that uh, we are together in google meet platform for interaction uh, you see we have been organizing this kind of uh, online counseling sessions since march since march uh, 
and uh, so far we have conducted uh, more than 700 uh, counseling sessions for different programs uh, this is something uh, which is very encouraging of course uh, today in this session only seven students have participated but uh, in other counseling sessions we have seen good number of students are coming so i would uh, request all the learners those who are present today to kindly you know spread this message and uh, you know uh, invite their friends to join in large number so that uh, the the online classes will be meaningful so students you see it is a golden opportunity for all of you because uh, face to face counseling classes are not possible therefore this is the only option left in front of all of us today uh, why not to take the best out of whatever online classes are being organized by igno regional center with the uh, initiative of our assistant regional directors so please <coughs> Uh, invite your friends. It is not necessary that uh, only those students who have, uh, you know, joined uh, IGNO programs are only uh, eligible to participate. If somebody uh, who has not joined IGNO program is interested to see, can also log in and see, because you know, class online classes uh, are very flexible, isn't it? If if somebody is interested to learn. From the presentations of the academic counselor, you should be allowed to give an opportunity. After all, Igno is a central university, and it is uh, uh, you know trying to provide seamless access to uh, you know various categories of learners. We have been saying this in different uh, you know forums. So please uh, invite your friends, isn't it? Uh, those, those who are interested to. Uh, you know, upgrade their knowledge and skills. Okay, the topic which are uh, covered in these online classes are uh, very unique and they're very interesting. And you see, our BA Honors, this uh, Sociology Honors program, is a revised program, and the content, the course content which are available there, are revised contents. You will never find the stereotype kind of contents here in this new study material. So it will be definitely interesting and uh, something new will definitely go into the mind of the learners, those who are joining these kind of classes. Uh, and uh, you see, we are also, our objective is also to expose good learners or good experts. We are uh, from time to time inviting good experts, those who have mastery over the subject okay to deliberate upon different uh, you know topics which are there in your syllabus and therefore today dr sucharita misra is, is is present okay and uh, uh, this is something which is very unique for example you see if you are a student of bjv college or if you are a student of uh, utkal university sociology department you will be exposed to only the faculties who are appointed in the Department of Sociology of either Uttal University or Bizarre College. But here in our case, we can invite a person from Raurkela, or we can invite a person from Barampur, or we can invite a person from, uh, you know, Baripada or uh, any other, or Angul or somewhere, uh, to deliberate upon a particular topic. So you will get varieties of experts and uh, this monotony will never be felt isn't it just to break monotony from your mind we are trying to uh, give exposure to new experts uh, you know those who have mastery over the subject uh, uh, at, at different classes so that is uh, something which is very unique because our system is a uh, you know distributed system Igno system is a distributed system and it is not classroom based, it is uh, home based. Okay, if you have the ability to learn, if you have the interest to learn, you can learn staying at any place. And this is this is a golden opportunity for all of you. Okay, so please avail this opportunity and see that 
uh, you know, the teaching learning becomes meaningful. Because teaching learning has never been a one-sided activity. You must have to actively participate. Isn't it? And you'll be able to participate only if you come prepared. Okay. You have, if, if, you, if you read the study matter before joining any online class and raise some issues or put up your viewpoint, then it will be meaningful. Our, our academic counselors will also take clues for, from your uh, views, etc., or feedback, etc., and uh, you know take away their uh, presentations till the end of the class. So that kind of a thing we must have to, uh, you know, create in this online platform. And see, uh, friends, you see, our system is such where uh, we normally do not say a teacher a teacher. We say a teacher as a counselor. Okay, so you can also act at one point of time. You may also act as a counselor. Isn't it? So here everybody is a counselor. Everybody is a learner. So if you know something else, you just share share with your friends. Tell to the counselors, uh, sir or madam, uh, the content that you are presenting is like this. So there is something extra which I would like to contribute or put up. And you just put it up so that it will be added there in the presentation, which is given by the experts. So that way the teaching learning should go on. And everybody has got equal role to play in this teaching learning situation. Online, online thing. You see, Dr. Panigrai is all along present with you. And he's also man from sociology. He's, he's, he has expertise in sociology. He has learned, he has studied from JNU. And, uh, um, you know, he has also some experience in this particular field so he can also contribute uh, but uh, the role of the student is immense isn't it you should you should uh, you know uh, create a situation where the teacher will be compelled to present the way you want him or her to present okay whatever you want to be discussed that will only be discussed so that kind of a situation you yourself have to create and that will be possible only if you are actively involved in the teaching learning process so this is uh, something which is very unique and uh, our endeavor is to see that every learner gets satisfied uh, and every learner's uh, queries are uh, properly addressed by the academic counselors and our faculties regional center faculties so that is our important uh, objective and we definitely see to it that everybody becomes happy. Second thing is that you see, after attending to these counseling sessions, you have to, uh, you know, write your assignments. So while writing the assignments, also you have to be very careful because assignment marks also carry some meaning because they are added in the final mark. Okay. So you have to do better as far as possible, try to do better in the assignments so that those marks that you will obtain in the assignments will be added. And finally, the final result will be declared. And uh, it is not uh, something uh, you will just copy from the books. You just try to collect information from various sources and write the assignments. That is better. And now you see in the present day scenario, there is immense amount of learning resources available online, isn't it? So many libraries are digitized. You go to any library and download any learning content that you want. Then uh, so many open coursewares are available, isn't it? Open source courseware. So you download them as per your choice, as per your need. And in YouTube also you will find presentations of many experts on the subject if you go and visit the youtube just note down any subject or any content that you want to learn in the youtube and you will get at least uh, you know 10 15 presentations on that minimum so that will definitely add to what we are presenting here in these online classes you see, our counselors are definitely presenting in a better way that is something which is very satisfying but then sky is the limit you see uh, you know, everybody is not perfect. Even, even I must, myself is not perfect in my own subject. 
there is always scope for improvement and if you try to you know collect materials or collect uh, you know learning resources from uh, you know various sources it will be helpful for you in 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 building of a sound academic career you see getting getting good marks is something else and becoming an expert in the field or you know or uh, having mastery over the field is something else okay you should not be only this uh, degree oriented try to be knowledge oriented and since you have joined ms Soci sorry ba sociology since you are in sociology honors so it is expected that you should have mastery over the subject and it needs a little bit of dedication some uh, hard work a uh, positive effort isn't it some honesty integrity is required because if you cheat if you take the shortcut the learning material is not going to help you please do not take the shortcut try try to adopt the textbook approach the deep approach of learning and give justice to your study that will help you a lot in building up of a solid academic career so dr panigrahi but is uh, sure. you know because you know i don't want to uh, uh, spoil the precious time thank of you. the students thank you sir and our our counselor is also waiting madam uh, misra thank you very much for giving me time and please take care of the needs of the students we are very thankful to you sure sure sir sure, sir that you have taken up the responsibility uh, of uh, you know teaching our no, not teaching counseling our students and uh, thank you dr panigrahi please take care thank of the you. students thank, thank you thank you very much sir thank you thank for you your time for sir. thank you okay ma'am go, go ahead so uh, word ma'am okay 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 sir so uh, Uh, I have just discussed that uh, human wants are unlimited. Uh, as people have multiple wants to satisfy, people's multiple wants. कहिला मैं कौन बुझूँ जो ना multiple wants includes basic needs such as uh, food, cloth, shelter, and uh, and also included other needs, other needs like better education, better health facilities, etc. so according to one perspective it is assumed that there is no limit for human wants human wants by kono si limitation hi nahi there is no limit for human wants so um, it is it is in practice it is insatiable jodi ame kahiba when one wants get satisfied another wants automatically takes place ame jani chu jete bele amara gote wants fulfill hoi jau chi देन आम चाहू आउ गोटे तार रिप्लेसमेंट आउ गोटे वांट्स आस जाए देखि थो तुम तुम टेक एक्जामपल इफ यू साटिस्फाए विथ अ स्म थिंग तुम जो गोटे जिन साफाई हो जाऊ चाहू मत आउ गोटे कि एक्सट्रा हो पार कि बुझीपुर नहीं सो अलवेज वी हाव अनलिमिटेड वांट्स इनसेटेबल वांट्स एंड व्हिच इज हेन्स वी से दैट इट इज इम्पसिबल टू साफाए वांट्स वांट्स सो जनकर वांट को साफाए कर इट्स क्वैट impossible people earn money by doing some work uh, work or activity and they use this money to satisfy their wants economics is about uh, the conversion of raw material into usable good called production the use of these goods called consumption and the distribution of resources in society जिते बेले इकोनॉमिक्स रे हमें कहा को कहो छ ना इकोनॉमिक्स इज अबाउट कन्वर्शन ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल इनटू द यूजेबल गुड्स एंड दैट यूजेबल गुड्स इज कॉल्ड एज प्रोडक्शन द यूज ऑफ दिस गुड्स जिते बेले हमें से गुड्स टा को यूज करू छ इट इज कॉल्ड एज कंजप्शन एंड डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ रिसोर्सेस इन द सोसाइटी देन द ह्यूमन एक्टिविटी हैव टू कॉमन एस्पेक्ट्स मनुष्यर एक्टिविटीज दा दीटा कॉमन एस्पेक्ट को पिले डील करे फर्स्ट वी ऑल आर एंगेज इन प्रोवाइडिंग फॉर आवर नीड्स हमें समस्त प्रथम चेष्टा करू हमर नीड्स टा को केमिति माने एंगेज रहित तो हम नीड को सेटिस्फाई करबा पे एंड सेकंडली नीड्स वैरी फॉर डिफरेंट गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज जेमति की 
मोर फूड के जो भाया निड्स रवश्यकता रही एजुकेशन एजुकेशनाल निड्स इज समथिंग डिफरेन्ट इकोनोमिक निड्स इज समथिंग डिफरेन्ट रिलीजिय निड्स इज समथिंग डिफरेन्ट मैंने निड्स भेरि फर डिफरेन्ट गुड्स एंड आक्टिट दिस एक्शन अफ आक्वरिंग रिसोर्सेस एंड स्पेडिंग इज कल्ड इकोनोमिक आक्टिट दिस एक्शन अफ आक्वरिंग रिसोर्सेस जिते बे रिसोर्सेस को आक्वयर कर स्पेडिंग द रिसोर्सेस दैट इज कल्ड एज इकोनोमिक आक्टिट जमती कि वाट गिव रईज टू एफोर्ट and efforts to secure our satisfaction the things which satis which directly satisfy human wants are called consumption goods consumption goods ame kaha ko kohchu na when the things directly satisfy human wants that is called as consumption goods a few consumption goods jodi ame dekhiba kichita consumption goods rahi chi jemti ki air hela sunshine hela bujhparcho तमर फ्री एयर पाच सनसाइन सनलाइट हैला दिस आर द अबंडंट कंजप्शनल गुड्स एंड दे आर अवेलेबल फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट हम से जिनस फ्री ऑफ कॉस्ट रे मिलथाय बट मोस्ट ऑफ गुड्स आर स्कैप आउ किछि गुड्स अछि जोडा कि लिमिटेड बहुत आमे जदे अधिक यूज करूचू से रिसोर्सेस बस ए गुड्स टा सॉरी सॉरी जाउ छि स्कैप सिटी अछि से रिसोर्सेस रो बस ए गुड्स रो they are available only by paying a price ame kebala paisa dei ki hi se resources ta ko avail kari paruchu ba se jinsa ta ko avail kari paru and therefore they are called as economic goods bujhu cha economic goods ane kaha ko kahilu na the goods which are available only by paying the price jete bele ame price dei ki goods avail karuchu that is denoted as economic goods and they do not exist in sufficient quantity to satisfy all wants amara sabu wants ko satisfy kariba pai it is not sufficient quantity ra am pakhare na thai bujhu ji jo the pai samaste gote pare payment ra gote medium rahi thai start of resources ta je to thai by paying the price we can avail that good so economics is the study of what na economics is the study of consumption production and wealth distribution economics kaha ko kuha jau chi na it is studying the consumption production and wealth distribution so as a science of society sociology is highly concerned with the institutions and associations of human beings ame dekhu chu sociology uh, is highly concerned with what na highly concerned with the social institutions and associations of human beings sociology is the scientific studies of human interactions and interrelations their conditions as well as their consequences but economics deals with economic activities of man so economics is dealing with what na economics is dealing with only the economic activities of man it is basically a science of wealth and choice ame jodi ako kahiba economics is basically a science of wealth and choice according to professor robin professor robin's ka definition is that economics is a social science which studies human behavior in relation to his unlimited ends and scarce means which have alternative uses so it largely focuses on the activities of man such as production consumption distribution as well as exchange so it also studies the structure and function of different different economic organizations structure and function of different economic organizations like banks markets etc ya upar bhi hamko economics deal kare from this it is obvious that economics is concerned with the material needs of human beings as well as the material welfare economics ka ha upar basis se tana rahi tha they concerned only with the material needs of human beings as well as their material welfare monisara vastubadi ba material things guri ko upare adhik economics se deal karithai au it focuses and much more concerned with the material welfare of human beings so however there exists a great deal of interrelationship between these two uh, two mane kota between the Uh, sociology and economics uh, important branches of social sciences both are interrelated and interdependent like history and sociology like psychology and sociology 
लाइक कौन तुम आंथ्रोपोलॉजी एंड सोशियोलॉजी इकोनॉमिक्स इज ऑल्सो इकोनॉमिक्स एंड सोशियोलॉजी बोथ आर इंटर रिलेटेड विथ इच अदर एंड बोथ आर इंटर डिपेन्डेंट विथ इच अदर सो बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इंटर रिलेशनशिप Thomas has of the opinion that economics is in fact but one branch of sociology. So, they are making a hiba. Jehe to sociology deals with the general aspects of society. For this only, economics is in fact but a branch of sociology. So, similarly, um, Silver Man have the opinion that economics is regarded as the offshoot of sociology, which studies the general principles of all social relations. their interrelationship like uh, let us discuss the interrelationship between sociology and economics economics is concerned with material welfare of individuals which in turn is the basis of for common welfare in order to achieve the common welfare economics takes help from all social sciences economics all social sciences ra help need kare and mostly from sociology jetu mu kahi ki both the sciences are interrelated and interdependent so they need uh, the help of the sociology like uh, economics also needs the help of sociology um, for its own comprehensive comprehension economics takes place of sociology and it depends on it economics is a part of sociology hence without the help of from sociology it is very difficult to understand the economics completely आम जो इकोनॉमिक्स को कंप्लीटली बुझापी चाहिए इट्स क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड इकोनॉमिक्स विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी। सो वी न्यू दैट इकोनॉमिक वेलफेयर इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सोशल वेलफेयर आम जो इकोनॉमिक वेलफेयर कथा पहले कह चु इकोनॉमिक वेलफेयर मान कौन सोशल वेलफेयर सामाजिक मंगल जनमंगलकारी जनहितकारी कार्य भितर ही अर्थनीति हितकर कार्य गुड़ा आस फर दिस् ओनली Economic welfare is a part of what? Now it is a part of social welfare. When there are economic problems in society, economic problems for which kind of such as inflation, hella mudra sthiti suni thiwa inflation, poverty, unemployment. These are the economic problems. Economists usually take the help of sociology and they to they take into account the social events occurred at a, at that particular time. जो प्रॉब्लम गुड़ा सोसाइटी देखा देला इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम्स पॉवर्टी हैला अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट हैला सो इकोनॉमिक कहां पर बेसी डिपेंडेंट हे जाउ छी ना इट डिपेंड्स मोर ऑन सोशियोलॉजी टू नो द सोशल प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू इकोनॉमिकल एस्पेक्ट्स सो द इकोनॉमिकल एस्पेक्ट को डील करू छी ताको बुझिवा पई तो ताको हमर तार प्रॉब्लम्स रो सॉल्यूशंस फाइंड आउट करबा पई वी आल्सो नीड द हेल्प ऑफ कोन we need the help of sociology so, so that means economics needs the help of sociology to find out the reason behind that such kinds of economical problems so classical sociologists like max weber wilfred of pareto etc have done extensive research on economy and society which was later great uh, beneficial for the economics too Uh, some economists also consider economic change as an aspect of social change ketek arthanitigya mane madhya eta kuchanti je economic change asile arthaniti re kichi paribartan asile it has an aspect of social change eta gote samajik paribartan ro bi gote ansha so usually generalizations of any economic problem is based on the data collected and provided by sociology so thus it is very clear that economics cannot go far alone or develop as an independent subject of social sciences without the help of sociology sociology ra bina help re economics cannot go far or develop as an independent social science economics would a independent social science ke rahi paribo nahi similarly sociology uh, to takes the help from economics सोशियोलॉजी भी सेंट इकोनॉमिक्स ऊपर इंटर इंटरडिपेंडेंट अछि डिपेंडेंट अछि कोन पय ने इकोनॉमिक्स ग्रेटली एनरिचेस सोशियोलॉजिकल नॉलेज इकोनॉमिकल फैक्टर्स ग्रेटली इन्फ्लुएंसेस एंड एवरी एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ सोशल लाइफ सम ऑफ द इंपोर्टेंट सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स कथा जदि हम कहिबा जेंति इकोनॉमिक प्रॉब्लम रे हम देखिलु पॉवर्टी होउ छि अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट होउ छि इन्फ्लेशन होउ छि तो ता ता से गुडी को 
सोशल प्रोब्लेम्स अंडर रे भी जाउची एंड से गुडी को सोसाइटी को भी इफेक्ट करूची इन द सिमिलर वे यदि हम एक सोशल प्रॉब्लम कथा देखिबा दैट हैज आल्सो सर्टेन ब्रांच और सर्टेन लिंक टू द इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम्स इकोनॉमिकल इश्यूज लाइक सेंटी के सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स हमें कोन जेंति के डाउरी हैला सुसाइड हैला सो दिस कैन नॉट बी सोशियोलॉजिकली एनालाइज्ड अलोन हमें केवल आपको सोशियोलॉजिकल एंगल लो एनालाइज कर परबा नाही सो वी नीड द हेल्प ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इकोनॉमिक सो एठी हमें इकोनॉमिक्स रो हेल्प सेति भाई दरकार पड़े टू मेजर द डिफरेंट सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स व्हिच आर मेनली कंसर्नड ऑफ द इकोनॉमिकल क्राइसिस हेंस वी कैन से दैट इकोनॉमिक्स इज अ पार्ट ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी एंड विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स सोशियोलॉजिस्ट विल नॉट बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड और टू फाइंड द सॉल्यूशन फॉर मेनी सोशल प्रॉब्लम्स विभिन्न सामाजिक समस्या गुडी को जानिबा पई इकोनॉमिस्ट बस सॉरी सोशियोलॉजिस्ट माने इक्विटिया पॉसिबल हे पारे न थांदा विदाउट द हेल्प ऑफ द इकोनॉमी सो द वेल नोन सोशल साइंटिस्ट लाइक कार्ल मार्क्स सेड दैट इकोनॉमिक रिलेशंस कंस्टिट्यूट द फाउंडेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी इकोनॉमिक रिलेशन टा कहा को नै कि बेस करू जी नै इट कंस्टिट्यूट द फाउंडेशन ऑफ सोसाइटी इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर्स प्लेस वाइटल रोल इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ आवर सोशल लाइफ इकोनॉमिक फैक्टर बहुत प्रकार रो इंपोर्टेंट रोल प्ले करी थाए इन आवर इन एवरी एस्पेक्ट ऑफ सोशल लाइफ सामाजिक जीवन शैली रो प्रत्येक भाव रे जदी हम अनुध्यान करबा हमर अर्थनीति रो माने प्रभावटा बहुळ मात्रा रे सामाजिक जीवन चर्चा परे रही छि सो सोशियोलॉजिस्ट लाइक स्पेंसर वेबर डर्कहाइम एंड अदर हैव रिलायड ऑन इकोनॉमिक्स इन देयर एनालिसिस ऑफ सोशल रिलेशनशिप्स the fact that society is largely influenced by economic factors while economic process determined by the social condition does suggest that the relation is very intimate ethi ame gote jinso dekhiba je sociology a gote jinso dekhilu find out kalu relationship ro that both the subjects are very intimate and close with each other so economics can be defined as a study of human beings in ordinary business of life or in other words it is a science of wealth in in its three stages of production distribution and consumption a tinita phase re economical um, society so sorry it is the science of wealth in these three phases production process re bhi distribution re bhi as well as in consumption too so the areas of cooperation between sociology and economics is widening economists are more and more making use of sociological concepts in the study of economic problems jete bele economic economist mane economical problems so it deal karanti they are using the different sociological concepts to know the different economic problems so econo sociological concept ra avashyakata karithanti कौन पाए ना इकोनॉमिकल प्रॉब्लम्स रो सॉल्यूशन पाइबा पाए सो इकोनॉमिस्ट्स वर्क विद सोशियोलॉजिस्ट इन देयर स्टडी ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक डेवलपमेंट इन अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्रीज सो कंबाइंड एफर्ट्स ऑफ बोथ दीस एक्सपर्ट्स मे बी ऑफ ग्रेट प्रैक्टिकल हेल्प इन मीटिंग द चैलेंजेस दस इट इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द फॉरगोइंग पैराग्राफ्स दैट बोथ सोशियोलॉजी एंड इकोनॉमिक्स आर वेरी क्लोजली related to each other eta janka subject jodi ame dekhiba they are very closely related to each other there are some problems which are studied by both sociologists and economists sociologist mananko dwara au economist mananko dwara social problems udika kon kara jaye find out kara jauchi au economic changes results in social changes and also social changes results in economic changes अवतार इकोन अर्थनीतिर प्रभाव सामाजिक जीवन शैली उपर जेंति रही छि बा सामाजिक परिवर्तन रे जेंति रही छि सामाजिक परिवर्तन रे इशूज गुडा अर्थनीतिक परिवर्तन को भी सेंति प्रभावित करू छि दिस आर द आमे जेते बेले मु प्रीवियस क्लास रे भी कहि छि व्हेन वी रीड अबाउट इंटर रिलेशनशिप जेते बेले आमे इंटर रिलेशनशिप कथा कहिबा वी विल नॉट इग्नोर द डिफरेंसेस इन बिटवीन दिस टू सब्जेक्ट so we will also find out the differences in between sociology and economics despite the above interrelationship ethe guda interrelationship bisare ame janila pore madhyam 
between economics and sociology there has there have certain differences which are discussed mane aaku chhadi ki bhi interrelationship chhadi ki bhi ame kisi difference uda e dui ta subject ra rahi so one by one let us discuss the differences first differences ho che sociology primarily studies about society and social relationship जानू आम जानू से सोशियोलोजी समाज शास्त्र बेसी मात्र समाज पर अनुधान कै आउ सामाजिक संपर्क अनुधान करेर आज इकोनोमिक्स स्टडीज अबाउट द वेल्थ एंड चयस इकोनोमिक्स क्या डिल कर ओनली द वेल्थ एंड चयस सो दिस् अ मेजर डिफरेन्स इन बिट्वीन द टू सब्जेक्ट सेकेंड वन इज सोशियोलोजी ए मस्ट आज अ सैंस अफ सोसायटी भेरी रिसेंटली कल सोशियोलोजी इज द यंगेस्ट सोशियाल सैंस बोलीटा गोटे रिसे एमरजेन्स नाइन सेंचुरी रे तार एमरजेन्स आर एज इकोनोमिक्स इज कंपेरेटिवली एंड ओल्डर सैंस इकोनोमिक्स टू इकोनोमिक्स टा हूँ गोटे ओल्डर सोशियाल सैंस कि सोशियोलोजी टा हूँ गोटे यंगर सोशियाल सैंस इटा गोटे डिफरेन्स थार्ड वन इज सोशियोलोजी इज कनसर्ण एज एन आबस्ट्राक्ट सैंस whereas economics is concerned as a concrete science in the domain of social sciences then uh, sociology generally deals with all aspects of social science whereas economics deals with specific aspect of social science general aspect could deal karuchi sociology specific aspect could deal karuchi economics sociology has a very wide scope whereas economics scope is very limited Sociology is concerned with the social activities of individuals, whereas economics is concerned with the economic activities of individuals. Society is studied as a unit of study in soci sociology, whereas individual is taken as a unit of study in economics. Society ta hoche gote unit of study sociology partre, kintu economics partre individual hoche gote unit of study. so both sociology and economics differ from each other in respect of methods and techniques they use for their study jodi tar method and techniques kotha ame dekhiba dui ta janko different different method apply karanti tankara study kariba pai etiki janila pare let us have a look definitions given by different economists and their relation to sociology bibhinna economist manankar opinion kon with relation with sociology फास्ट डेफिनेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू एसीपी बायग्यू तांको हिसाब रे इकोनॉमिक स्टडीज दैट पार्ट ऑफ सोशल वेलफेयर व्हिच कैन बी ब्रॉट डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली इनटू रिलेशनशिप विद द मेजरिंग रॉड ऑफ मनी हियर इंस्टेड ऑफ टेकिंग इंडिविजुअलिस्टिक नीड्स एंड कंसर्न्स ही इज कंसर्न्ड विद द सोसाइटी एज अ होल व्हिच इज द बेसिस ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी हियर according to him uh, that social relations are formed due to the presence of wealth samajik jete relationship katha ame kohu chu it can only be formed with the help of presence of wealth which is the domain of economics that is kahara study area na economics ta if we look at the societal relations we observe that in most of the cases the rich wish to interact and spend time with the rich only dekha आम गोटे जब फाइंड आउट करवा सोशियोलोजी स्टडी अफ कर रिलेसनसीप कथा इकोनोमिक्स स्टडी अफ कर वेल्थ कथा तो ये क्वेश्चन आसूची जो रिलेसनसीप बिल्ड अफ कर अकर्डिंग टू इकोनोमिक्स गोटे इकोनोमिक्स मतरे जो रिलेसनसीप सोसाइटी बिल्ड अफ हूँ दैट इज ओनली बिकज अफ वेल्थ हाउ से जस्टिफिकेसन दूसरों जो देखि थी सोसायटी में अलवेज अ रिच पर्सन व्वांट्स टू इंटराक्ट विथ अ रिच ओनली wants to have a relationship with the rich person only and in the similar way of poor always have a interrelation or interaction with the poor only so sachi pai ethi kuha jauchi and and they both are ignoring them the rich are ignoring the poor and poor are also ignoring the rich more of more of the rich often feel superior over the poor तो रिच टा सब बेले सुपीरियरिटी फीलिंग्स आसी था एथि सुपीरियरिटी और इनफीरियरिटी इनइक्वालिटी गोटे रिलेशनशिप रे क्रिएट होउ छी एंड एथि हम आउट जिंस देखु इन एडिशन द पुअर ऑफन फील कम अनकंफर्टेबल सब बेले गोटे पुअर ता अनकंफर्टेबल फील करे व्हाइल इंटरैक्टिंग विद द 
रिच एंड डेवलप अ फीलिंग ऑफ इंफीरियरिटी वेइंग टू द लैक ऑफ रिसोर्सेस जे टू लैक ऑफ रिसोर्सेस अछि सो इंटरेक्शन करबा पय पुअर फील्स इंफीरियरिटी विद द विथ अ इंटरेक्शन विद द रिच वन सो हियर ताले एठे रिलेशनशिप ता कहा को नै कि बेस करू छी ना रिलेशनशिप ता जस्टिफाई बाय बेस ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ता हम कहू छी वेल वेल्थ जस्टिफाई करू छी हम कहा से तो रिलेशनशिप रखू छी कहा से तो रखू ना दिस इज वन ऑफ द इकोनॉमिस्ट ओपिनियन सेकंड ओपिनियन गिवन बाय जॉन स्टुअर्ट मिल तांको हिसाब रे द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स इन इज इन अ सोशल कॉन्टेक्स्ट एज द साइंस व्हिच ट्रेसेस द लॉ ऑफ सर्च ऑफ द फिनोमेना ऑफ सोसाइटी as arise from the combined operations of mankind for the production of wealth in so far as those phenomena are not modified by the pursuit of any other object what does it mean now it clearly shows that the concept of societal effort on the economic activities is reflected in the above definition and the law of nature prevalent in the society which from the basis from the production of economic output that the production of economic economic output ko nei ki societal relationship ta justify kara jay that is a definition of given by john stuart mill another one given by alfred marshall alfred marshall who was a neo classical economist he gave his opinion that uh, economics is the study of mankind in the ordinary business of life it examines that part of individual and social action which is most closely connected with the use and attainment of material requisites of well being so this shows that economics is concerned with the study of man and it deals with their activities in the social setup so economist mane sabu bele Uh, human being upar study up kariba pai chahe ta and it is only deals with that activities of man which um, which is uh, in a social setup to dealing with the economical needs or uh, economic aspect to jo guda deal karuthibo so, seta koi nahi ki se mane societal relationship ta build up kara jauchi jemte ki while including the welfare of society as a whole he is rejecting a way of characterizing society as a set of isolated isolated and competitive individual which presupposes the human interaction to take place in the society for people to not have any classes of interest this is a um, major uh, definition given by alfred marshall and the next one is sir james uh, stuart sir james stuart ko chanti is uh, the je the concept of political economy je ame je political economy katha kahiba economy in general is the art of providing for all the wants of the family so the science of political economy seeks to secure a certain fund of subsistence for all the inhabitants so it is obvious that every circumstances which may render its uh, which may render to provide everything necessary for supplying the wants of the society and employ the inhabitants jese ki he introduced many essential elements of society such as family population social interaction the exchange which are the subject matter of sociology hence the relation between economics and sociology seems well established tanko matare se ame jo sociology or economics ra relationship kotha kahu chu he gave his opinion that he introduced many essential elements economics ya me bahut essential elements uda dekhiba pai milithai like tumara family re jem such as family re family population social interaction exchange eguri ko both societal aspect ru bhi sociological aspect ru bhi ame deal karu aur economical aspect ru bhi ame ame ko deal karu so that's why which is both the subject matter of economics and sociology so the relation between economics and sociology seems to be well established eta economist manankar opinion ame sunutulu so let us have a look on definitions given by different sociologists and their relation to economics ethe avu different sociologist mananka matta kona economics ra relation saita so first one given by max weber who defines sociology as the science Uh, which attempts the interpretative understanding of social action in order to 
uh, in order thereby to arrive at a causal explanation of the cause and effect relationship it deals with cause and effect principle which is commonly found in economics and the various policies related to it there are many causes that lead to different societal effects bibhinna karan roi ki jota ki bibhinna societal effect ku link karuchi jemti ki for example the french revolution ela se da kon Uh, which was due to the atrocities and injustice faced by the ordinary people kon pai hetla french revolution na the injustice faced by the ordinary people leading to poor economic welfare dekho pile eti poor economic welfare ku nei ki french revolution jo kara jaitla that deals only with the economical issues so economical issues ku nei ki jete bele eta hochi and uh, sociologist also showing the same thing tahale dita jankar relationship nihati bhabare gote kon well established relationship boli ame kahi pariba and another definition given by morris ginsburg ginsburg is of the opinion that sociology in the broadest sense is the study of human interaction and interrelation their conditions and consequences there are many factors that govern this interaction which includes emotional behavioral as well as economic factor jente ki example number parents fulfill all the economic needs of their children tumara samastankar parents mane tum sab pilla manankar kon um economical needs fulfill kari thanti till the time they are competent and able to earn money kete bele parjanta karani karanti na jete bele jae tumme nije capable na hoi cho nije money earn na kari cho so in a family that is social institution taku ame gote social institution boli kahu chu by making available all the necessary goods and services for their children jo jo jinsa gura darkar se guri ko saprottek parents mane kari thanti nijer children so further a man often looks after all the material needs of his wife which becomes the part of social interaction hence these social interactions include the economic aspect which is the prime importance so man ame jo economical aspect uda kohu chu jo needs ba jo wants katha ame kohu chu eta kaha ko deal karuchu economical aspect ko deal karuchu so we should not ignore from this perspective that these are essential things of the society ame ko chadi pariba nahi and both the subjects are interrelated i mean to say that both are interdependent with each other ame jodi dekhiba tahale eti economics and sociology dui ta janka paraspar sahita nihati interrelated au interdependent so let us have a look on history of economic sociology तार गोटे हिस्ट्री गोटे देखा जमी लास्ट अलग सब्जेक्ट रिस्ट्री गुड़ा भी एनालिसिस तो वन कैन सी द रूट्स ऑफ इकोनॉमिक सोशियोलॉजी इन द क्लासिकल फिलोसफिकल एंड सोशियल साइंस ट्रेडिशन हाउ एवर इट एमोस्ट एज अ सिस्टमेटिक अकाडेमिक सब डिजन अफ सोशियोलॉजी इज इन लेस दैन अ सेंचुरी एगो आफ्टर इट बिकम्स एन अकाडेमिक सब डिप्लीन अफ इट दैन इन डिप्लीन it it has made remarkable contribution in analyzing society from an economic perspective i mean an economic perspective bro so i did analysis kariba pai we need the subject economic sociology is it clear so if we closely observe we can find out that the birth of economic sociology is from the writings of karl marx smelser um tamara they both they all use the term economic sociology which seems to have been in 1879 when it appears in works from british economist w stanley the term was taken over by the sociologist and appears for example the work of durkheim and weber like durkheim's work division of labor in society and uh, as well as weber's work economy and society first weber and others have shared the sense that they were the pioneers building of such types of analysis second they also focused one of the most fundamental question to the field that what is the role of economy in society how does the sociological analysis of the economy differ from the economics these are the questions raised by the economical sociologists economic sociology ta upare gote डिबेट डिबेटेबल इशू क्रिएट हैला सो सो हैव अ लुक ऑन कंटेम्पोररी इकोनॉमिक सोशियोलॉजी माने कोन कहउछंती बा कंटेम्पोररी इकोनॉमिक सोशियोलॉजिस्ट रिव्यू कोन 
in recent time especially after its 1980s economic sociology experienced a remarkable revival few sociologists who are doing rigorous research on the relationship between market and society contributed a flurry of articles on the network of market and society which eventually led to the revival of economic sociology into an important sub field of sociology so the main contributor of 1980s um jodi ame dekhiba sette bele that they emphasize the embeddedness of economic action in concrete with social relation these are the history is ame dekhiba they also developed many things related to economic sociology they so there is a general acceptance in the domain of economic sociology that means they argued that the birth of the free market was an institutional transformation which was necessarily promoted by the state these are the things which are discussed by the contemporary sociologists too and uh, let us have a common issues concerning both sociology and economics the kame jodi dita jinsar interrelationship dekhu jo tale issues ba problems bhi kichhi common thibo jo ta ki economics mane bhi deal karuthebe economist mane bhi deal karuthebe aur sociologist mane bhi deal karuthebe let us have a common issues common issues guda kon first is unemployment first common issues ho chhi unemployment unemployment we all have very much concerned that uh, unemployment generally consider as an economic problem however when we to when we look at the root of unemployment one can see that it is equally important for sociology too ta mane eta gote social issue bhi aur gote economic issue bhi in the eyes of sociologist how it's a social issue na in the eyes of sociologist unemployment is a social problem sociologist argue that social fact factors equally contribute to unemployment social factor would equally equally contribute karthante unemployment pai jemte ki then uh, what, what, are, what are the social factors like social status tamara uh, rapid growth of population drawback in educational system geographical immobility these are the issues which are related to the uh, unemployment issues so a few sociologists have also linked it with the personal factors kichi personal factor bhi unemployment thai thai suppose illness got a personal sickness pai disability pai professional unfitness pai lack lack of experience pai got a loko bhi unemployed rahi thai so for uh, economist it's a economical problem and for sociologist it's a, it's a social problem this is a first issue second issue is child labor ame jodi child labor kotha kahiba child labor has become a common dismal practice in many developing countries like indri india where in thousands of minors are made to work and are therefore deprived of education health facilities leisure activities and basic freedom these are the violating they are violating their rights so eta hochi both social issue and economic issue kemiti na it is not the children who decide to start working instead of going to school but there are a host of other socio economic factor khali je gote chhua chahi tha child labor hoba pai setan hoye ta pochhare bahut socio economic factor thae jemti ki related to their families and households so they are uh, jemti ki se mane that they force them to work uh, child labor se mane ta ko badhya kar thai paranti child labor kariba pai children are often made to engage in agricultural activities and in urban areas poor families often send their female children Uh, who are also seen a burden to work as maid servants in the domestic households urban area re bhi bahut child labor mane female child labor mane jai ki household domestic work re bhi maid hisab re kaam karanti thus the cause of child labor is lack of economic resources pai ho chi and which also force the parents to send their children to work so these 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 are the uh, social issue as well as the economic issue another one is inequality i mean the inequality kotha kai ba inequality is of two types what is economic inequality what is social inequality economic inequality kon na it is shown by people on the basis of their different positions within the economic distribution such as people's income pay and their wealth therefore economic inequality is divided into three types these are economic inequality pay inequality and wealth inequality ame economic inequality ko either payment rate inequality dekha pai mile payment inequality can say male female inequality payment milithae 
आउ गोटे जदि कहबा में इनकम इनइक्वालिटी भी मिलिथाय किछि लोक सेम काम करिथांती जणो को अधिक पैसा मिले आ जणो को कम मिले इनकम हिसाब रे वेल्थ इनइक्वालिटी भी हमें देखु जेमति कि रेफर्स टू अनइक्वल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एसेट्स इन अ ग्रुप ऑफ पीपल योर वेल्थ रेफर्स टू द टोटल अमाउंट ऑफ एसेट्स ऑफ एन इंडिविजुअल और हाउसहोल्ड इट इंक्लूड्स देयर फाइनेंशियल एसेट्स सच एज कोन बॉन्ड्स स्टॉक्स प्रॉपर्टी एंड देयर पेंशन दीस आर द इकोनॉमिक इनइक्वालिटी व्हाट इज सोशल इनइक्वालिटी the social inequality occurs when the social resources are distributed unequally jethra social resources kuda unequally distribute hoi thai taku ame social resource inequality boli ko we can say that it mainly occurs on the basis of class issues caste issues race and gender issues we know that all these are characterized by the existence of unequal opportunities and rewards for the social positions and status it holds so he argues uh, that means for example different uh, inequalities creates the superiority and inferiority feelings so this is called a social inequality so my dear learners in uh, here in unit 6 we have covered the interrelationship between sociology and economics i hope that you all understood these things so uh, let us uh, have uh, to our next unit that is unit 7 Unit seven is dealing with uh, your uh, relationship of sociology with political science. Have I have I, have I finished political science? No. No. So let us have a look on uh, political science relationship, interrelationship. Um, first of all, Jamiti, come and show sociology ra relationship, uh, economics ra relationship, padhu cha. सेंती हमें एटे पॉलिटिकल साइंस रे रिलेशन रिलेशनशिप टा को जस्टिफाई करबा बट हियर आई विल नॉट अगेन ट्राई टू आई मेक श्योर दैट यू ऑल ऑफ अस अंडरस्टूड व्हाट इज सोशियोलॉजी सोशियोलॉजी ऊपर मैं बेसिक किछ एटी कहबी नाही बिकॉज़ इन माय प्रीवियस क्लासेस आई हैव ऑलरेडी एक्सप्लेन सो मेनी टाइम्स व्हाट इज सोशियोलॉजी व्हाट इज द हिस्ट्री ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी व्हाट इज द इवोल्यूशन ऑफ सोशियोलॉजी सो हैव अ लुक डायरेक्टली व्हाट इज पॉलिटिकल साइंस इज इट क्लियर सो हैव अ लुक ऑन व्हाट इज पॉलिटिकल साइंस so definition of political science generally political science is defined as a scientific study of state government and politics political science is nothing it is generally focused on the scientific study of state government and politics um then here probably the most frequently used concepts are politics state power political socialization leadership governance decision making policy making and their impacts so these are the frequently used concepts in the subject of political science political science ra me sabu jan ko jinso ko barambar ame suni ka pai amko militha power political socialization kon leadership kon governance kon decision making kon policy making kon and i also will have a, uh, and we will also focus its impacts on society so the concept of politics is central to political science in fact sometimes both are used interchangeably kete bele e jin sa ta interchangeably used kara jaye in general politics is also defined as a process whereby people form preserve and modify general rules which govern their lives ta mane ethi politics ta lokomanankar kon karuchi general rules which govern their individual lives individual lives upar eta govern karuchi ba rule karuchi ta ta upar issues gula political science ro bi deal kare ta such processes generally involve both cooperation and conflict jetta bele governance katha asuchi jetta bele policy making katha asuchi so the dida jin sa ko deal karibo cooperation bhi au conflict you may take the two aji jo tamara recent ayodhya ajodhya re jo tamara ram janma bhumi ba ram ankar jo mandir issues ko leke after 500 years 500 barsha is not a small period buji parcha gote rati re eta hei ni so it constitutes series of conflicts and cooperation buji parcha bahut prakara conflicts cooperation pore today we have the right amuku gote asila je we have a uh, order we have a uh, justice to create mane gote mane historical event haba pai gote amu pakhare gote se jo asila that creates on the basis of both cooperation and conflict so ita ko ame gote 
पॉलिटिकल इश्यूज रे बा हम जदी एठी देखिबा सेटा भी डील करूतला तमरो विभिन्न प्रकार गवर्नेंस को नै कि सो पॉलिटिक्स एज एन आर्ट हम एठी कोन कोन कहिबा ना पॉलिटिक्स एज एन आर्ट ऑफ गवर्नेंस इज दस एंगेज्ड विथ द इश्यूज ऑफ पब्लिक अफेयर कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मल्टीपल डिसीजन मेकिंग कॉम्प्रोमाइजेस एंड कंसेंसस एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स त माने एठी सबु जेंको जिंसो को हम डील करू छ लाइक पब्लिक अफेयर कोन पब्लिक इश्यूज कोन रहिला ए जो हेला बा जे कोन से एनी इश्यूज यू कैन टेक इन सोसाइटी तापरे पब्लिक इश्यूज को निया जाय आगो मैटर करे अधिक कॉन्फ्लिक्ट मल्टीपल डिसीजन मेकिंग गोटे डिसीजन नै हे पारेनी मल्टीपल डिसीजन मेकिंग रुए कॉम्प्रोमाइज भी रुए एंड आल्सो कंसेंसस एट डिफरेंट लेवल्स से देखबा पाए मिलथै सो नाउ लेट अस लुक अप सम ऑफ द मीनिंग्स अटैच्ड टू द वर्ड पॉलिटिक्स पॉलिटिक्स से ताऊ किछ मीनिंग्स हम ऐड करबा एथि Firstly, politics is often considered as an art of government. Politics, so which got a art of government. How it is a art of government? Now there are, however, competing arguments whether politics is a science or an art. It a got a science, na got a art. There is always a argument, or it is a debatable concept on scientific status of sociology as a discipline. In fact. as various scholars note the word politics is derived from the word polis p o l i s polis which literally means the city state polis ru prathame politics word ta asi chi jar mane ho chi city state in the ancient times greek society was divided into independent city states so each of which had had their own system of governance in this context politics or political science is often referred to kind of affairs of policy making matters or we can say it, it deals with the public affairs it deals with the state issues political science as an academic discipline has largely adopted the definition of politics or political science so we can say politics is often considered as a art of what now it is a art of government the second is is most essential aspect which defines politics and its nature is what we most often refer to public affair or related to public ko jinsa me basically public affair ko refer karu chi and which is more related to public like jemti ki ame kahiba the word public as mentioned above uh, may be contested with the word private public gote achi private gote achi dita word achi the jemti ki ame ethi kahu chu various institutions of the state such as bureaucratic machinery the ministries the court the tribunal the police the army the social security system so so on can be regarded as public e gudi ko sab ame public boli kahi thau in the sense and that these are responsible for the society at large for its organization or management or uh, public expenses management or primarily on ta tax payers money ho to sabu jinsa pai ame eti public uh, organization uda deal kare ei sabu jinsa ko in contrast to this ame jodi a gote side ko dekhiba uh, the civil society is consisted of various social institutions civil society bibhinna social institution ko neki deal karuchi such as family kinship groups trade unions clubs community groups private businesses and so on they are private in the sense that they are funded and set up by individual citizens to satisfy their own needs and interests rather than those of larger society at many uh, or times thus they, their nature is private or individual centric private affairs would ame kahilu kon family hela तमर किनसिप हला ट्रेड यूनियन हला क्लब हला कम्युनिटी ग्रुप हला दिस इज अ प्राइवेट थिंग व प्राइवेट दिस आर द इन प्राइवेट इन सेंस बट पब्लिक सेंस कथा कहले ब्यूरोक्रेटिक सिस्टम होची तमर मिनिस्ट्रीज हला कोर्ट हला पुलिस हला आर्मी हला दिस इज द पब्लिक इशू सो एठे हम दीटा जिंस को डील करू छी पब्लिक आउ प्राइवेट थर्डली पॉलिटिक्स इज ऑफन डिफाइंड इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स डिस्टिंक्टिव नेचर in engaging the critical issues of compromise decision making and consensus politics is often related with the social machinery which aims towards resolving conflict mostly through compromise conciliation negotiation rather than through the force and naked power all 
एलोन तो सब जाक पॉलिटिक्स टा ये सब जिन डील कर कंप्रमज हिसाब से आम डिल करू नेगोसीएसन हिसाब से डिल करू रादर दैन विद द पावर लास्टली पॉलिटिक्स इज ऑफन एसोसिएटेड विथ पावर अंडाउटली पॉलिटिक्स विल ऑलवेज आर एसोसिएटेड विथ पावर एंड एक्सरसाइज इट्स इन्फ्लुएंस स्कॉलर्स तो सा ऑफन डिफाइन पॉलिटिक्स एज द हार्ट ऑफ ऑल कलेक्टिव सोशल एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज एम्बेडेड विथ फॉर्मल एंड इनफॉर्मल पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट इन ऑल सोशल ग्रुप्स एंड इंस्टीट्यूशंस इन दिस सेंस politics takes place at every level of social interaction in the society it can be found within families peer groups kin groups organization tamane ethi ame dekhilu kona na politics always associated with power and its exercise its influence this is also a concept of politics so let us have a shift in the focus of political science politics pare ame ebe political science kona taku ame bujiba bujibar jo acha my dear learners do you have uh, any uh, difficulties in uh, english or you are you are free uh, in english or tumhe english re beshi suvidha ho chi na tumko odia re darkar ho chi if somebody have any issues you can add here je tumko problem ho chi na bilingual hele thik ro chi tumhe both odia ho english tita ko hele thik ho chi na khali odia na khali english ko ta beshi tumro can anyone say both okay thank you a little let us have a shift in the focus of political science our idea on what is political science hello ma'am ha hello um, uh, english ata odia bi tike avashyakta ach tike hele tike both hi kahuni tapai mo bilingual use karu chi i am not talking only in english mo khali english re bi tumko kahuni mo both language jo ta kahu chi jo sentence bi kahu chi ta ko mo odia re translate karu chi so um, be very careful and uh, uh, before you um, uh, enter into a class or before you um, go for online counseling classes at least you should go through your study material the study material the ga guru diya hai ki tumhe the outer ta ko dekhi ki asibo so you have a better understanding about the subject study material ma'am amko mili parini tumko mai hard copy hard copy nahi hard copy nahi soft copy ta sir pathai chami na sei ta ko tike dekho तमे ताकु देखि के आसीबो मु एटे तमुको दिटा बहुत थरे तोले ट्रांसलेट करी कहिबे इट विल बी वेरी इजी अदरवाइज यू कैन जस्ट ओपन योर स्टडी मटेरियल एंड मु जोटा कहू छी ताकु देखो मु जेमती तमु कहू छी जे तमो पाखे अछि वर्तमान सॉफ्ट कॉपी त अछि ना तमे ताकु देखो स्टडी मटेरियल देखि बुझे हो चेष्टा करो थैंक यू बुझेला आजे सो हैव अ लुक ऑन व्हाट इज द शिफ्ट इन द फोकस ऑफ पॉलिटिकल साइंस पॉलिटिकल साइंस कहिला में कोन बुझु छु the the nature of political science as a discipline has transformed and changed over a period of time period of time re it transformed and changed uh, the idea of uh, nature of political science hence the changes from politics to political system government to governance and political reasons to social determinants too has taken place in the past past ra me sab jinsa dekhi ki as it this transformation in political science did not occur in isolation from society khali society re isolate hoike rahile e sab jinsa ame dekhi pari jani pariba nahi did not occur it can be possible in a isolative society so the changes in contemporary globalized and interconnected world essentially reflected in the changing scope and nature of this of that of the discipline political science is not only shifted its focus but subsequently refined its concepts and approaches towards becoming more of typical social science intellectual discipline in its orientation and approach so ethi ame au gote jinsa dekhiba je kete bele ame political science ro jo history tar evolution katha ame dekhiba it shifted its time wise eta ko hisab re shift kara jai chi tar 
globalized concept kona jemti ki changes in the contemporary globalized and interconnected world ethi kohuchi kona na do the historical roots may be deeper cold war period make political scientists to think around critical issues like democratic capitalism authoritarian socialism political identity focusing on national membership class status and hegemony which later on evolved an issues of teaching and research in political science departments across the world so moreover the period from world war 2 uh, through the 1990s experienced the disappearing of dominance of western europe power and the rise of new nations in the continents of africa and asia so these are the history based things of political science Uh, how the political science developed in history this is political science in this context has taken a turn and has covered more of sociologically relevant issues like ethnicity identity eta both political issues so eta social issues ko bhi cover karuchi ethnicity hela identity hela religion hela as uh, we have already discussed it the debates on globalization translational nationalization secularism communalism identity politics and issues of new media and many other contemporary debates around development significantly political science is um, related with the social science and it is uh, political science uh, social science the relationship ame je dekhiba both are also interrelated so have a look on the relationship of both these sciences Uh, sociology and political science are closely uh, related to each other in many aspects it is said that disciplines of sociology and political science are closely interrelated in their analysis of power authority structures administration and governance similarities between sociology and political science are many firstly political science relies heavily on sociology for its basic theories and methods political science ta kaha pre rely karuchi na sociology apare for its basic theories and methods for example methods for example in mid 20th century social psychologists um, significantly shaped political science agendas in political behavior and political development secondly focal speciality is based on the similar third party issues so many analytic political science and sociology are also interrelated sociology is often defined as scientific study of society i am mean, already discuss kari chu we may also note that society is nothing but a complex network of various groups institutions communities associations people and their everyday life so politics and power dynamics forms integral part of all these concepts of human life polity and political formation has always been essential components of any human society in modern times no society can be imagined without polity ame polity bina modern times re konosi society ko imagine bhi kari paribani so एठी हमें कहे कहे कि कह जाऊ छी ना विदाउट पॉलिटी पॉलिटिकल इंस्टीट्यूशंस बिकॉज़ दे फॉर्म अ पॉलिटिकल लाइफ स्टेट एंड गवर्नेंस आर द बेसिक टू एनी सोसाइटी बोथ इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स फंक्शन डेवलपमेंट एंड मीटिंग एसेंशियल नीड्स ऑफ सोशल लाइफ सो सोशियोलॉजी टू एसेंशियली रिफ्लेक्ट ऑन स्टेटस ऑफ द सोशल वर्ल्ड विथ अ फोकस ऑन सोशल इश्यूज एंड ऑन द कंडीशंस ऑफ ह्यूमन सोसाइटी so both sociology and political science intersect at multitude of points and provide a broader analysis of this social reality so these are the science focus karuchi kaha ko na tumara social reality upare dita political science hochi aur sociology both the sciences focus upon the social reality jodi ame relationship dekhu chu so how let us have a look how political sociology as a sub field of sociology political sociology got a agu ko tumara honors paper re you will have a paper named political sociology so it tumme again padibo political sociology kon so political sociology as a sub field of sociology ra tar abashyakta kon rahila taku ame discuss kariba political sociology often as a new growing 
uh, soft field within the discipline of sociology it is considered as a connecting bridge between sociology and political science political science or sociology bhitare gote connecting bridge ro kaam karuchi gote medium kaam karithai political sociology sociologists see two way relationship data relationship sociologist is so kare both have a give and take relationship give and take relationship in various other scholars see political sociology as a marriage between sociology and political science we can say uh, there is a uh, medium or there is a uh, interlink or healthy marriage in between politics and political sorry political science and sociology so he gave they gave birth a new science that is known as political sociology or it is a soft field of sociology political sociology as a soft field develops in an attempt to overcome the lacuna of behavioralism which emerged in 1960s in political science by correcting its over emphasis on psychological explanations of human behavior political sociology essentially looks into social determinant social context and more importantly an organic interconnection between politics and society to unpack the social aspects of politics and its process so it is actually in this sense that structures of society and social organs of politics became primarily units of analysis in the discipline of political sociology that means political sociology both things ko deal karuchi and it will overcome jo 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 lack ko na ba jaha lack rahi jai chi behavioralism ko study up kariba pai जहाँ लैक रही जा सोशल रियलिटी को स्टडी अफ करने इन पॉलिटिकल एंगल ताको आम जानवा सफफिल्ड अफ सोशल सोशोलोजी विच इज नोन एज द पॉलिटिकल सोशोलोजी सो द आप्लिकेसन अफ सोशोलोजिकल टूल्स टू आनालीसि टू द पॉलीटिकाल फेनोमेना हाज आडेड फर आवर अंडरस्टांग अफ पलिटिकाल बिहेयर तो पॉलीटिकाल बिहेयर को अंडरस्टांग करनेड द पलिटिकाल सोशोलोजी सर्टन अदर एरिया सच एज भोटिंग बिहेयर कौन पॉलिटिकल इकोलॉजी कौन पॉलिटिकल कम्युनिटी कौन व्हिच रिफ्लेक्ट द थीम्स ऑफ पॉलिटिकल फंक्शनिंग इट इज एक्चुअली पॉलिटिकल प्रोसेसेस थ्रू व्हिच कंसेप्शन ऑफ पॉलिटिकल मेंबरशिप एलिगेंस आइडियोलॉजिकल कंटेस्टेशन वैल्यू ओरिएंटेशन ऑफ ग्रुप्स एंड आइडेंटिटीज आर फॉर्मड एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड एडेड टू द ग्रोइंग मैच्युरिटी ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सोशोलॉजी एज एन इंटेलेक्चुअल discipline anthony giddens social theory on inter international relations and for european studies weber's analysis of the sphere of life and burdeu's analysis of politics like any other areas of social activity such as education and economics etc are some of the examples which are indicating the trajectory of the growth of the political sociology So have a look on differentiation in between political sociology and sociology of politics. Sociology of politics or political sociology, these two are different. So, I have to study. So, like political sociology, sociology of politics is a subfield of sociology. Sociology of politics also throws light on uh, sociological appraisals of political processes and institutional mechanisms. in contrast to this political sociology focuses to explain and understand political phenomena kaha ko bujhiba pai explain kariba understand kariba political phenomena ko and process while relating it to the social determinants as discussed earlier political sociology actually underlines the link between politics and society पॉलिटिक्स और सोसाइटी भीतर लिंक जानी बा पाई वी नीड द हेल्प ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सोशियोलॉजी बिटवीन सोशल स्ट्रक्चर एंड पॉलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर सोशल स्ट्रक्चर कोन पॉलिटिकल स्ट्रक्चर कोन ताकू भी जानी बा दरकार एंड आल्सो बिटवीन पॉलिटिकल बिहेवियर एंड सोशल बिहेवियर सो पॉलिटिकल सोशियोलॉजी एसेंशियली डील्स विद द सोशल रीजंस एंड कॉन्टेक्चुअल एस्पेक्ट ऑफ अ फेनोमेना व्हाइल एक्सप्लेनिंग व्हाई पीपल एक्ट ऑन द वे दे डू so political sociology unlike sociology of politics is a cross disciplinary breakthrough which gave a contextualized treatment to any issue under consideration 
so further more if we take an example of party system political sociology not only investigates uh, functions of a political party but also underlines its social conditioning and contextual location in order to unpack the critical issues under consideration similarly sociology of politics sees indian politics in terms of caste ridden society whereas political sociology looks into the ways of politics has affected the indian caste system political sociology kon kare na ko issues guda sociology looks into the eyes of politics political angle lo ko issues guda indian caste system ko affect kare in what way this has encouraged the this has encouraged the politicization of caste and caste system in the country so sociology of politics provides superficial treatment of the issues whereas political sociology is a um, uh, is analysis which essentially embedded in the examination of the issue in social context so eta hochi tamara political sociology or sociology of politics with there are differences so have a look on the concepts used in political sociology the different concepts una ame tike discuss kariba first hela political culture kon what is political culture this is one of the most used and frequently mentioned concepts in political sociology political sociology frequently ei word ta use kara jay political culture what does it mean now it is said that the origin and growth of the term goes back to the 1950s when the term popularly used and become a part of the disciplinary conceptual tools to define the social issues and processes so it hame dekhiba notably jodi hame jani ba there are certain uh, issues like political norm values beliefs which direct how people think and should act about politics loko mane politics upare kon bhabu chanti ko hisab re act karu chanti that links with the political culture these all constitute political culture of a particular nation each nation has its own distinct political culture to in terms of definition political culture refers to a set of norms traditions conventions belief system and values which are essentially oriented towards the political system such cultural elements are shared by the society and relatively distinctive to a given political system of the respective society or the nation concerned so political culture is also defined as a subjective orientation of a particular political psychology subjective orientation of a particular uh, political psychology political thought political institution in this sense political culture is a distinctive and patterned ways of thinking about how a political and economic life of the people are governed political life or economic life of people are governed that can be included under the political culture so for uh, example jem de ajde me example na liberty equality secularism democracy all are the elements of political culture in india here we should also distinguish between ideology and culture culture here refers to the common beliefs values and traditions about the government whereas ideology is a set of ideas or policies government ought to pursue jemte liberalism neoliberalism capitalism or communism are set of the ideologies which certain states uh, see as a desirable and organize their political system accordingly then coming to the next concept what is political socialization political socialization kon now the term political socialization is also frequently used the term political sociology sociologically jodi ame dekhi ba socialization hoj gote life long process ame agu ko ei topic re discuss kariba what is socialization there is a unit related to socialization socialization is a life long process or we can say it's a learning process the term political socialization is related to learning of political roles only political roles ko learn kariba hochi political socialization political roles or behavior people are educated and thus made part and parcel of the larger political culture which continues continues over generations political socialization is thus basically a social process about how people forms their political attitudes 
लर्न देयर पॉलिटिकल रोल एंड दस फॉर्म देयर पॉलिटिकल कल्चर केमिति पॉलिटिकल एटीट्यूड सिखुचंती हाउ पीपल लर्न द पॉलिटिकल बिहेवियर दीज आर द पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन इश्यूज इन सिंपल टर्म्स रे वी कैन डिस्क्राइब इट पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन रेफर्स टू ए सोशल प्रोसेस वेयर बाय पीपल और ग्रुप्स लर्न पॉलिटिकल बिहेवियर टू फुलफिल सर्टेन एक्सपेक्टेड पॉलिटिकल रोल किछि एक्सपेक्टेड पॉलिटिकल रोल फुलफिल करबा पय पीपल नीड्स द पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन आवश्यक कर तो एठी हम देख लु पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन कहले इट हेल्प्स इन स्केपिंग ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल रोल पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप्स एंड अदर सच ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस ट्रेन देयर मेंबर्स ऑन द लाइन ऑफ देयर एजेंडा जहा एजेंडा अछि सेही हिसाब रे पॉलिटिकल रोल बा बिहेवियर प्ले करबा पय पड़ी था दैट इज डिनोटेड एज अ पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन तो सोशियोलॉजिकल स्पीकिंग और रोल इज अ सोशियली एक्सपेक्टेड बिहेवियर रोल कह कहले हम कोन बुझु छु सोशियली एक्सपेक्टेड सोशियोलॉजिकली असाइंड सोसाइटी एक्सेप्टेड रोल्स को सॉरी बिहेवियर को हम कहू छु रोल द टर्म पॉलिटिकल रोल कोड ना इट रेफर्स टू ए प्रोसेस व्हेन अ व्हेन एन इंडिविजुअल इज अटैच्ड विथ अ सेट ऑफ स्टेटस एंड रिस्पांसिबिलिटीज टू परफॉर्म विद इन अ पॉलिटिकल फील्ड so the society is expects expects its members to perform the same within the given political system this performance of given role goes hand in hand with the processes of political socialization so political socialization the generally ame political roles behavior guidance ta ko ame sikhita bujhela ja jiti ke learning process political agenda hisab re ame tar roles aur behavior guda लर्न करबा को वी दैट इज डिनोटेड एज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ पॉलिटिकल सोशलाइजेशन देन कमिंग टू द लास्ट टर्म दैट इज पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल इज द टाइप ऑफ रिसोर्स व्हिच एजेंट्स व्हिच एजेंट्स एक्युमुलेट स्ट्रगल एंड एक्सरसाइजेस इन द फील्ड ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स टू इन्फ्लुएंस द डिसीजन एंड एक्शन ऑफ अदर्स पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल इज एक्चुअली अ सिंबॉलिक कैपिटल इन द फील्ड ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स in general parallel political capital is a sort of goodwill trust and prestige a portion or politician or with the public to gain the political benefits such goodwill and trust a politician or person earns actually the assets political ithame jo political capital katha kouchu kon na it is a ame ko kouchu gote resource jaha ki accumulate kara jaye struggle for exercise in the field of politics politics re rahiba pai ki there has been struggles or influence in the decision and actions of others these are denoted as a political capital to understand and access the political capital any unit such as political party hela or regional political formation such as interest group caste association a uh, con- confederation of nation state can be analyzed to understand the power dam- dam- dynamics dominance hegemony and control mechanism embedded into the social relations so we can say people with richer political capital may control more power and dominance cha jete political capital jete rich political capital jo lok ro heitibo so he ha मोर पावर एंड डोमिनेंस सेते पावर अ पावरफुल और डोमिनेंस सारा अथॉरिटी थाए दे मे टेक होल्ड ऑन द सेम फॉर लॉन्गर टाइम नोटेबली पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल मे एक्ट एज बोथ प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोसेस व्हाइल विनिंग एन इलेक्शन इलेक्शन ने विन करबा पे इट इट इज नीडेड व्हिच इज डिनोटेड एज पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल जाई कि जें तमे जेंती गुटे पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल सॉरी विन करबा पे कोन दरकार है गुटे कास्ट एसोसिएशन आवश्यकता हुए तमर गोटे पॉलिटिकल पार्टी दरकार हुए रीजनल पॉलिटिकल फॉर्मेशन दरकार हुए इंटरेस्ट ग्रुप दरकार हुए सो दीस आर द पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल पॉलिटिकल कैपिटल मे एज बोथ अ प्रोडक्ट एंड प्रोसेस व्हाइल विनिंग एन इलेक्शन सस्टेनिंग एन इलेक्टेड ऑफिस एंड इन्फ्लुएंसिंग और मोबिलाइजिंग द पीपल सो माय डियर लर्नर्स दीस आर द थिंग्स वी लर्न फ्रॉम द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन सोशियोलॉजी एंड पॉलिटिकल साइंस in this we you need we have explained the meaning of political science and its relationship with sociology we have described how both the disciplines are interwoven how both the disciplines are borrowed refined and enriched with their terms and concepts over the period of time so we understood that how sociology has got intersected with political science in developing 
and an interdisciplinary framework to understand society and its issues so society or societal issues gona jani ba pai ame to dekhilu je they both are closer to each other and they both are uh, the issues are covered in political sociology which is a sub field of sociology reflecting on existing intersection between sociology and political science buji parchu so sociology or political science so existing relationship ko jani ba pai there is a sub field of sociology which is which is renowned as political sociology so this is all about your uh, interrelationship between political sociology sorry sociology and political science let us have our next one next one denoted uh, to culture and society so my dear to, to learners i may not finish this unit today but have a look over how may, how much i covered today jati ki hoba sati ki aaj cover kariba next kali class pe aur okay so let us have a look on culture and society that is unit 8 unit 8 denoted to culture and society as all of us very well known about the fact culture samaste gote ame jani chu culture gote well known fact samaste term so ame from the very beginning we know that man is not only a social animal he is considered as a cultural animal मनिष को खाली गोटे सामाजिक प्राणी कह जाए मनिष को गोटे सामाजिक सांस्कृतिक प्राणी भी कह जाए कहीं बिकज मैन हाज द ओनली आबिलिटी टू लर्न द कलचराल नर्म कलचर कलचर पैटर्न टू आडर द कलचर कलचर को ग्रहण करपासीटा दैट इज द ओनली जदि देखा केवल मनीष पाखे ही आम देखा पाई सो so, आम uh, जी जानू जो कलचर र एत गुड़ा स्पेशलिट रही कलचर कौन आम प्रथम जानको पड़ो सो इन दिस यूनिट विल डिस्कस ऑन द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कलचर एंड सोसाइटी कलचर और सोसाइटी भितर इंटर रिलेशनशिप कौन आम फास्ट जानवा देन वी विल डिस्कस द कनसेप्ट ऑफ कलचर एज अंडरस्टुड इन सोशियोलॉजी सोशियोलॉजिकल पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू रु व्हाट इज कलचर वी हैव टू लर्न फ्रॉम दिस यूनिट एंड आल्सो द कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ कलचर हाउ कलचर इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम बायोलॉजी civilization elements of culture cultural traits as well as culture complex we we'll learn all those things then also we will have a look on uh, cultural change cultural diversity and multiculturalism is it clear so have a look on what is culture so in our in my first discussion let me finish the relationship between culture and society culture and society relationship so before i start what is uh, the relationship between culture and society i i want to make you sure that what is culture culture kon prathame amku janio padiba ame jani chu culture is a acquired behavior culture hochi gote acquired behavior culture is a learn culture is shared culture is the medium to which man achieves his aim culture hochi gote madhyam jaha dwara manusya nijara लक्ष्य हासिल कर सक्षम हुए एंड वी कैन आल्सो जस्टिफाई दैट कल्चर इज दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स होल कल्चर हो गए जटिल समाहार कहार ना हिच इनक्लूड्स नॉलेज आर्ट मोरल लॉ कस्टम एंड एनी अदर कैपेबिलिटीज एक्वायर्ड बाय मैन एज अ मेंबर ऑफ सोसाइटी मनीष को गोटे सोसाइटी रो मेंबर हिसाब रे परिगणित होबा पई हेले we have to adhere the cultural norms we should know the cultural patterns we should know the cultural values of the society we should be very much conformed about the cultural issues amuko ei sob jinso upar bhi clarity rahiba darkar because ame je starting ru kahilu man is not only a social animal he is a cultural animal too so ei jo cultural animal or social animal di ta bhitor janiba pai hele we have we should know what is the relationship between culture and society culture and society relationship ta ko bhi amko janiya padibo ba bujhe padibo dekho bile culture and society are mutually interdependent both culture and society are mutually interdependent ame jodi kohu chu every society has a culture pratyek samaj ra gote nirdishto culture rahe हाउ जमती कि मुझे दी कहि भी व्हाट इज ओडिसाज कल्चर तुमको दी पचरा जे ओडिसा रो कल्चर कोन 
can anybody say what is odisha culture janicha ka odisha culture kaha ko kon kuha ja odisha culture ode na achi culture ko kon kuha ja do you have any idea odisha culture ko ame kon kuhu chu generally acha odisha uh, culture ko ame kahi thau jagannath culture i i think you right तो अमे आपको कहूचू जगन्नाथ कहचे काहे की कहू ना आमे एठी मेंशन करू जे एवरी सोसाइटी हैज अ कल्चर व्हिच गाइड्स इट्स मेंबर प्रत्येक समाज रे कुटे निर्दिष्ट संस्कृति रहिची जहा की मणिसर मेंबर को गाइड करे जे मणिसर बिहेवियर को गाइड करे बुझि पर इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड व्हाट ए सोसाइटी इज तो आम जो रिलेशनशिप कथा जान प्रथम बुझे पड़ो सोसायटी कौन व्हाट इज सोसायल फोकस अन् कलचर सो अकोर्ंग टू राल्फ लिंटन सोसायटी आज एन अर्गानाइज ग्रुप अफ इंडिजुआल सोसायटी हूँ गोटे अर्गानाइज ग्रुप अफ इंडिजुआल एंड अ कलचर इज एन अर्गानाइज ग्रुप अफ लर्न रेस्पन्से क्यारेक्टरिस्टिक्स अफ ए पर्टिकुला सोसायटी दैट मीन सोसायटी इज मच लार्जर कनसेप्ट सोसायटी टा निहाती गुटे लार्जर कनसेप्ट एंड कल्चर इज एन इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सोसायटी कानि कि जेतो बेले कल्चर कानि कि गुटे इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सोसायटी ना बिकॉज़ वी लिव इन कल्चर आमे जगन्नाथ संस्कृति भितरे रहिचू वी लिव इन दैट कल्चर प्रत्येक ओडिसा वासी कर दैट इज अ लाइफस्टाइल जदि हम भी कहि परबा वी लिव इन दैट पर्टिकुलर कल्चर इन ओडिसा बुझि पर जो इन द सिमिलर वे सो कल्चर इज एन इंपोर्टेंट पार्ट ऑफ द सोसाइटी बिकॉज़ वी लिव इन इट सो थ्रू द कल्चर द मेंबर्स ऑफ सोसाइटी एक्सपीरियंस देयर लाइफ मनीष कल्चर ही शिक्षा लाभ करे एक्सपीरियंस गेन करे and also um, through culture the members of society experience their life in other words society refers to persons and groups society refer karuchi kaha ko lokan ko group ko and culture is the behavior pattern of these groups which emerge from the communal living ja ki communal living ro asita culture distinguishes a man from an animal culture distinguish kare manisha ko कुटे एनिमल टाइप आमे जे पशु मानक ठर आमे अलग बली काहे की कहले बिकॉज़ वी आर अ कल्चरल एनिमल जहा की गोटे पशु पाखरे आमे देखिबा त एनिमल मानक पाखरे से जिंसटा न थाए सो दैट मींस इट इज द कल्चर दैट सेट्स आवर एटीट्यूड बिलीफ्स वैल्यूज एंड नॉर्म्स ए कल्चर द्वारा ही आमे हमर एटीट्यूड को सेफ कर सेफ करू माने परिमार्जित करू बिलीफ को परिमार्जित करू वैल्यूज और नॉर्म्स को भी हमें जस्टिफाई करू एंड आल्सो वी विल बी वेरी एक्सेप्ट्स आवर पर्सनालिटी टू एंड हम व्यक्तित्व को भी परिमार्जित करिवर सहाय्य करथाय सो सो कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी कैन नॉट बी सेपरेटेड वी कांट सेपरेट कल्चर एंड सोसाइटी व्हेन देयर इज सोसाइटी देयर इज अ कल्चर व्हेन देयर इज कल्चर देयर इज मस्ट बी अ सोसाइटी बुझि परलो सो गिडन्स से दैट sociology has always studied culture as bound up with social relations and structures of society sociology sabu vele studied karithai culture ko as bound up with the social relations social relations ko jeta vele ame justify karuchu we can't ignore the study of culture different scholars define culture in different ways different uh, scholar ka opinion different achi so there are uh, we can say 150 definitions of culture of culture definition 150 prakar define karichanti different sociologists the first definition jodi mu joda tumko already kahili eb tyler given a famous definition that culture is that complex whole which includes knowledge belief art moral law custom and any other capability acquired by man as a member of society मनीष को गोटे मेंबर ऑफ सोसाइटी हबा पई ए सब जिंस लर्न बा ग्रहण करबा को पडिथाय समाज रो मेंबर सामाजिक प्राणी हबा पई कल्चर रो जिंस गुडा को हमक आडिहर करबा को पडे लर्न करबा को पडिथाय अकॉर्डिंग टू मेलिनोस्की कल्चर इज द हैंडीवर्क ऑफ मैन एंड द मीडियम थ्रू व्हिच मैन एचीव्स हिज एम्स 
कलचर हूँ गोटे मनीषर हस्त निर्मित कला जो थे से तार लक्ष्य हासल करने सा So culture used in sociological sense would be very different form as it is used in common parlance. Common way रहे तो मुझे इतनी culture को कहो चल. Sociology रहे थे different uh, things तो मैं किसी जानी बात जो टाइप की sociological define करा जाए इसे culture को. Like Sutherland said, when we study the behavioral pattern, the customs, beliefs, language, and other shared ways of thinking, feeling, and acting. To uh, acting to are referring to the culture of the society. That we refer culture to the culture of the society. So the unique aspect of culture is that it is highly variable and is also subject to change. Prathama jin sa hoche unique aspect of culture hoche highly variable. Culture is variable. That means culture differs from society to society. प्रत्येक समाज रो कल्चर एक प्रकार रो नहे त माने आमे जदि इंडियन कल्चर जो भले अमेरिकन कल्चर सेटा नहे अमेरिकन कल्चर जो भले रशियन कल्चर से भले बुझि पर छ सो कल्चर वेरीज फ्रॉम सोसाइटी टू सोसाइटी सो इट इज वेरिएबल एंड इट इज सब्जेक्ट टू चेंज त माने कल्चर इज चेंजेबल त माने एटा चेंज होए परिवर्तनशील बोली आमे आपको कहू छु While human heredity is a relatively constant factor, culture is variable. This can be explained when we compare culture with biology. So let us have a comparison with culture and biology. आपको पढ़ी नहीं है हमें जानी बात हो culture is variable. Culture is often contrasted with biology. This distinction between culture and biology becomes important when human society is compared to that of animal. Humans and animals share the same biological traits. Monisa or Pasu, these two things are the same biological traits. Like a particular name, traits means what? Just the itch, instinct, instinct. Like a particular, like the hunger. Tango be vocal, like that. Tamu be vocal, like that. Tango be social, like that. Tamu be social, like that. They they have also the sex relations. We have also the sex relations. So these are the biological traits: hunger, trust, sex. etc it can also be said that animals do have certain behavior patterns animals kara nirdishto behavior patterns rahi chi jemti ki human manan kara bhi rahi chi like human but there are striking differences kintu ta bitare kichu ote differences achi between the behavior patterns of both animals and human striking chapter rahi chi for example hunger and sex urge are biological facts hunger or sex ta huji kona biological facts but it is culture which determines how these urges are channelized ei jo biological urge guda kenti channel channelize kara jibo taku ame sikhu kouthuru culture ja ke animal mane sikhi parante nai buji parcho ki nai mo kahibar artho तांको भी भोक लागु छी तमको भी भोक लागु छी तांको भोक लागले समर किछ मानु ना दे कांथ बाडो किछ को रास्ता गाडो किछ देखु ना दे बुझि पाछ ने कि तमो भोक लागिले यू लर्न हाउ टू कंट्रोल योर हंगर तम हंगर को केमते तमे कंट्रोलिंग कैपेसिटी टा तम बाखरे सिखु छ से कोड सिखिलो दैट ओनली लर्न फ्रॉम द कल्चर सो इन ह्यूमन सोसाइटी सोशल बिहेवियर इज ट्रांसमिटेड फ्रॉम जनरेशन टू जनरेशन बाय कम्युनिकेशन In contrast to animals, in which it is transmitted by heredity. I am at a hereditary basis. Re culture ko transmit karo one generation ro another generation. Mujhe hasi kili mo pila ko seeda se kochi mo mo baapa baapa kuri jha hasi kili ta ko again mo mo para piri di piri ko se kochi bujhe bajo. So it passes from generation to generation. This distinguishes human society from the um, from the complex in, insect society. as the insects are instinctive and do not learn to behave insect mane janchan de kemthi behavior karibe society re does the insect learns the behavior masa machhi mane sab behavior sikhi chandi ki no so ethe ame kon janu chu insects can pass on sounds which convey certain meaning se mane kor sound re se mane meanings kichi convey karanti ba share karanti but they are unable to produce language तांको पास में लैंग्वेज द्वारा मसा से हम कान रे कहे बुझ पर छ सो देहा दैट हैज सटन कोन हम देखु छु तांकर किछ ओटे सिंबल्स अछि जो थरे साउंड्स अछि से माने खाली साउंड्स शो कर दे डू नॉट आर दे आर इनकैपेबल टू प्रोड्यूस अ लैंग्वेज बुझ पर छ जहा के मनीष कर वर्तमान मु मोर थॉट शेयर करू छी बाय हु मु आई एम शेयरिंग योर माय थॉट 
sharing or teaching my thoughts only through my language bujhi parcho ki nahi so hence culture which makes them different from the human bujhi parlo manisha ko kemte animal tharu distinct karuchi culture in other words animals depends on their instinct but humans use their culture kintu animals mane डिपेंड हमारे इनस्टिंक्ट इच्छा मान मान जो जिन इनस्टिंक्ट सेवल डिपेडेबल बट ह्यूमान अलवेज डिपेड अन् व्हाट कल्चर बुझीपेट कलचर क्या ट्रांसमिटेड थ्रु कोडिंग क्लासीफाइंग एंड पासींग एक्सपीरियंस थ्रु लांगुएज और डिस्टिंगट ह्यूमान ट्रेट इट क्या बी सेड दैट देर इज अ मेजर डिफरेन्स विटवीन ह्यूमान एंड एनिमल is the inability uh, of the animals to use the symbols so but humans have a way of manipulating symbols and they even express abstract concepts using symbols ta mane ho je humans mane symbol use karanti ni emiti bhi achi humans mane abstract concept re symbols bhi use kari ki tankar medium of con- conversation karanti by symbols we mean of value or a meaning attached to a particular object jemti ki tumhe to kahiba symbol kon ame kon symbol play karu ki society jemti ki for example the national flag is not any other piece of cloth national flag ta ame gote cloth boli kohuno kahe ki na that has a symbol which has a meaning se flag ra kichu gote meaning achi je flag dekhle se kapda boli ame ta kohuno we will we can justify that a national flag bujhi parcho so that through symbols we learn that mane me am bhi symbol through re ame justify karuchu kichhi jinsa but it has a meaning achi tam behind kichhi meaning achi rasta re jete traffic light dekhi ki mu rohi jauchi that means that has symbols mate ko ko ha jau symbols dekhi ki hi mu rohuchi symbols dekhile hi mu jauchi bujhi hoji ki nahi so that means we have also the symbols which has a definite meaning Similarly, जैसे कि Christian or cross is a symbol of salvation. Christian मानों को जैसे cross कोटे था ये तंगरो salvation मुक्ति रो कोटे माय symbol बोली था कुछ मैंने कहीं था नहीं. So these are the things uh, relations in between culture and biology हमें देख लो. Let us have a look on culture trait and culture complex. Culture trait कौन है और complex कौन है? Trait सो जी smallest element of a culture. ट्रेट कहले छोट छोट गुण बा छोट छोट ट्रेट कह मान स्मेस्ट एलिमेंट छोट छोट एलिमेंट अफ कलचर को कलचराल ट्रेट देर आर मेनी कलचराल ट्रेट इन एव्री कलचर प्रत्येक कलचर निर्दिष्ट कौन कलचराल ट्रेट गुड़िक रही कलचर हाज सर्टन कंपोनेट अफ ट्रेट लाइक ट्रेट कह कौन बुझुचु लाइक रिचुआल है celebration of different festivals ela which distinguish one culture from another culture bujhe hoji even ame jodi gote cultural trait ro example na ba touching a feet tumhe dro namaskar karu cho touch karike feet touch karike shaking hands or taking a particular diet keto bale kon khaibo seto bale tumaro diet ro gote particular plan achi wearing a sari are uh, all are the cultural traits these are the cultural traits even after uh, marriage there is a symbol cultural symbols bujhi ho jane ki these are the certain cultural traits these are the element smallest element of a culture when cultural traits combine together they produced culture complex bujhi ho eta cultural trait kahila smallest element of a culture ko ame kahilu cultural trait किंतु कल्चर कॉम्प्लेक्स को होची जेते बेले व्हेन कल्चरल ट्रेड्स कंबाइन टुगेदर कल्चरल ट्रेड जेते बेले मिसी जाउची दे प्रोड्यूस कल्चर कॉम्प्लेक्स सेटे कल्चर कॉम्प्लेक्स थ्योरी होची कल्चर रे कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी आसी जाउची केमिति ना कल्चर कॉम्प्लेक्स इज नॉट एन इंस्टीट्यूशन बट इट इज द आउटकम ऑफ इंटरेक्शन बिटवीन सेवरल इंस्टीट्यूशंस they are defined as pattern of the inter interrelations of culture traits jemti ki says that uh, jemti ko ko chandi coward drinking is observed among the samons which is a culture traits of the samons ter gote samons mane jo achanti jo tiki coward drinking tankar gote custom boli ba culture boli se mane kahi tanti but it is not only about drinking the non alcoholic beverages and there are rituals of preparing and serving the beverages 
pouring out the first cup of liberation to the god tankar eta gote culture ago se mane bhagwan ko se jo drinking alcohol ta gote cup re debe tapare se mane nije serve karibe and there is also a ceremonial precedence of serving the kawa and the mythological belief in the background of the ceremony eta gote ceremony hisab re tankar hei jaichi so the kawa drinking is tied with many other aspects of samon um, uh, in this way the kawa drinking is related to many other traits making it that kawa complex eta bada seta other trait so eta misi jai create a kawa complex when similar cultural traits are found in a particular area it is called culture area jete bele eka prakara ra cultural traits culture area re dekha jaye taku ame kouchu different area re dekha jauchi sorry similar cultural traits are found in a particular area gote nirdisht area re jodi eka prakara ra cultural trait dekha jauchi taku ame kouchu culture area for example the different regions in india like north eastern states the states like kashmir hela tamil nadu hela this constitute the cultural area so a jo different regions in india re ame dekhu chu different cultural area bhi rahi chu acha let us have a look on characteristics of culture culture of characteristics sudi ka kon na culture is social first characteristic so jo culture is social culture is acquired through social life Human being is a social animal and has a culture of its own. Culture is shaped by our social interaction. Our social interaction द्वारा ही culture shape हुए and it is bound to bound with social relations within the members of a group. Culture regulates the behavior of the member of a group and fulfills man's needs. Culture fulfill करे man's needs like hunger shelter clothing etc so culture is the design for living ame jodi kahiba culture hochi gote design of living culture is defined as a social adjustment or the means by which man adjust to his environment jo madhyam re manusya nijara environment saita adjust kare eta hala culture is social characteristics chale second hochi culture is learned and shared how culture is learned and shared na culture is a behavior acquired by man from his birth and as a member of society when a human baby is born jetebele gote baby first born karuchi it is helpless it helpless in thai first it doesn't have the pattern of behavior that is required for living in a society or culture to in, uh, culture is not in it ta mane ta bhitare kichu culture thai ki so behavior bhi janna thai how to deal be, live in a society the baby learns the behavior and culture from the elder and is socialized to become a member of society dheere dheere se learn kare se behavior ta elder mane ko tharu and socialized to become a member of a society in course of time man becomes human by acquiring the culture of a particular society monisha dheere dheere human being re sette bele parigonit hue jete bele se culture or learns societal cultural norms ko sikhi thai and this is called the culture so, so for this only man is called as a culture bearing animal the influence of culture on human being is hence deep rooted um, after man learns culture uh, culture is internalized and is shared by the members of the group culture is shared through communication and cooperation by the members of society culture kemiti sikha jay na communication dwara share kara jauchi and also the cooperation by the members of a society next one is culture is transmitted how it is transmitted culture is handed down from one generation to the other and also between nations and people within the lifetime culture is what we receive from previous generations and subsequently adopt to so culture is transmitted to humans by parents teachers friends kaha madhyam re parents man ko dwara culture transmit kara jaye teachers man ko dwara transmit kara jaye friends man ko dwara transmit kara jaye through the traditions customs etc so cultural transmission is different from genetic transmission 
one has no control on genetic transmission genetic transmission kon bujhu cha jemti ki genetic transmission ne tumara skin color hela hair color hela color of eyes hela these are the genetic transmissions ane tame tumara parents manan ko through milit thai through genes tapre but through culture man acquires the habits habits sikhu dekhiyo the habits ame sikhu thoughts attitudes uh, of his or her parents and through this it is transmitted to the group se hisab re eta group to group transmit hoi thai so it is a collection of ideas and habits which they learn share and transmit from generation to generation so culture is transmitted next one is culture is symbolic how culture is symbolic like a symbol is something on which some value is bestowed by us and it has a meaning the meaning of symbols is a matter of cultural intervention for example the national flag jem dimu kahili tama national flag ro symbolic jinsa kotha it is not only a piece of cloth but has a culture similarly christians the cross is a symbol of salvation so culture is generally symbolic next one is culture is dynamic it is no longer seen that culture is static culture static nu he culture uh, natural bhi nu he culture well bounded bhi nu he culture independent bhi nu he a culture political power dwara bhi justify kara jaye nahi culture kon na it is constantly undergoing change and often adopts the external forces bahar external force dwara culture parivartan hue it also undergoes the internal adaptation and change bahya factor dwara culture parivartan hue and undergoes the internal adaptation and change tame kete culture ta ko adopt karucho au change ta thuru asuchi that is denoted as culture is dynamic various parts of culture uh, are integrated uh, with each other to constitute a whole gote whole constitute kariba pai various parts of culture are integrated with each other pratyek parts cultural parts ta integrate hoi ki rahi thai so this is uh, all about your uh, nature of culture have a look on types of culture that is material culture and non material culture ile material culture kon na w f ogburn sociologist w f ogburn distinguished between material and non material culture material culture refers to the objects which satisfies the material needs जोटा मनिषर वस्तुवादी मैटेरियल नीड्स कौन तुम वस्तुवादी जिन गुडा फुलफिल कर मैटेरियल कलचर लाइक मैटेरियल कलचर को गुडा एग्जांपल जमी हाउसेस मीन्स अफ ट्रांसपोर्ट फैक्ट्री फूड आइटम्स एक्सेट्रा दिज आर द मैटेरियल कलचर दे आर दैनजिबुल आसपेक्ट अफ सोसायटी non material culture kon na non material culture on the other hand refers to the non tangible aspects of culture non tangible aspects ko odi ka custom sela ideas hela belief sela pattern of communication hela e gudi ka hochi non material culture ba non tangible aspect non tangible mane ja suno material culture kahile the culture which we can see feel and use in our everyday life jaha ko ame dekhi paruchu chhui paruchu anubhav kari paruchu but uh, non material culture kon the things which we can only feel we can't use and see ame taku dekhi paru na ki byabohar kari paru na ta mane kon jo culture udi ka tamara hochi non tangible aspect custom hela taku kon ame dekhi paru custom pratha ta kon tamara kon ta khali ame feel kari paruchu कस्टम्स हैला आइडियाज हैला बिलीफ्स हैला पैटर्न्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन हैला दिस आर द थिंग्स व्हिच इज डिनोटेड एज अ नॉन मटेरियल कल्चर सो देयर आर अ लॉट ऑफ डिबेट एज टू व्हाट शुड बी इंक्लूडेड एज अ बिट ऑफ कल्चर सम एंथ्रोपोलॉजिस्ट बिलीव्स ओनली दोस एस्पेक्ट्स व्हिच कैन बी कम्युनिकेटेड कैन बी अ पार्ट ऑफ कल्चर मेनी अदर्स आल्सो इंक्लूड ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन द डेफिनेशन ऑफ कल्चर says that culture has always dealt with the non material aspect 
it had not conventionally included the material artifacts like buildings furniture but this had changed as gradually sociologists became interested in material culture so both material and non material objects are part of the culture culture not only includes knowledge beliefs and practices but also includes man made objects like tools building means of transport and communication on various artifacts so aw green defines culture the socially transmitted system of idealized ways of knowledge practice and belief along with the artifacts that knowledge and practice produce and maintain as they change in time jo hisab re change hoba se hisab re hi cultural things ame am pakare pahunchi pare so pile in uh, in our uh, discussion we have already finished the types of culture tamara uh, characteristics of culture culture and society relationship cultural uh, cultural trait and culture complex we have also finished the culture and biology so in our next class we will focus on we will uh, have a look on elements of culture next class we kali am elements of culture we start kariba so uh, if you have any doubts you can ask the questions kar kich doubt achi questions kich pachara no ma'am जत्ते जो वाइज इट शुड बी वेरी क्लियर थ्रू द कॉन्सेप्ट कॉन्सेप्ट बुझी पार्थे इट विल बी वेरी इजीयर फॉर यू टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस टॉपिक बुझेलाइन नेक्स्ट हमें जानिबा तमरो टाइप्स ऑफ कल्चर गला विल फोकस ऑन एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कल्चर इन माय नेक्स्ट क्लास थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू माय डियर लर्नर्स सो हैव अ पेशेंस ऑन क्लास आई विल आई विल हैव अ विल हैव अवर नेक्स्ट क्लास इन द सेम टाइम ओके थैंक यू